Well, hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Watts Farm. Yes, indeed, we are doing some farm sim, and we've got uh, not what I wanted to see for our first day of fall. We, in fact, have rain in the forecast, and I have, uh, have yet to get the corn off the field. So, as we know, unfortunately, once it starts raining, that'll be the end of our chance to harvest and if it doesn't dry out quick enough we could lose this corn so I was going to uh, run the mix feeder and get a little bit of uh, cowage food happening but it looks like what we're going to be doing in fact is that closed yes it is let's uh, open that up well let's open that up there we go Okay, and yeah, let's see about shaving down the cornfield. There we go. Do hope everybody is doing well today. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy life to spend a bit of time with me here on the farm. This is our last standing crop of the season. So... And good timing with it, I think. I say we've got early autumn here, and we've still got a few things we need to tend to before the snows come. Now, I'm not sure how snowy it's going to be. Again, I'm running the uh, Northwest Oregon. Seasons Geo. Sorry, didn't mean to stall out. Alright, let's hope we got the horsies to get back up the hill. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to be spending a long time going back and forth. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be a huge harvest either. Oh well. Good enough. It will certainly keep our, uh, oh that's right, zero pigs going for a while. Oh, I meant to, uh, I was told because I was running the hay as grass mod, which I believe I am actually. Um, that that's why I'm getting a bit of an issue with the uh, cow thingy not really working right. Like it's forever saying I need grass, even though there's grass in there. Now there is TMR in there as well, but apparently it's uh, there is a conflict going on. And I meant to remove that. I did, I did, I did, but well, you guys know me. I've got very little memory. However, I do actually have some uh, rather good news. Now, as you guys may know, if you happen to hear that particular episode, uh, unfortunately my job as a assistant building manager is likely at an end. Uh, the building manager has had another stroke. He's... Uh, probably not going to be in any sort of condition to carry on with the job when he gets back out. And uh, so, if your boss is gone, so are you. I don't particularly want to, uh, you know, I don't want to take the position over because I'm just, I can't rely that I'll be physically well enough on any particular day to help the right people out that need it. So that's hardly be fair to accept such a thing and uh, it would depend entirely on who ends up being the manager then as to whether I'd help them out or not if they even you know wanted such a thing but at any rate that's uh, that's not the point of this particular discussion uh, what is is uh, as usual on the side, I also do uh, computer repairs and 
troubleshooting and such. Um, hardware related for the most part. Uh, I'm not by any means a software whiz, but I do have my uh, A-plus certification in computer hardware and have for, well, 20 years now. So, you just something I thought I needed to collect, you know. Um, but yeah, the good news is, is uh, I got a phone call day before yesterday from uh, someone I haven't heard from in a, for a while here in town. And it's, um, I used to do all their computer work, uh, her and her sons, her two sons. And, uh, well, I guess they, basically, I guess their computer bit it a while back, and that's why I haven't heard anything from them, like completely just gone. And they finally uh, all turned around and bought new systems. Now, nothing great. Uh, one of the machines isn't too bad. Uh, the other two are basically fairly level, or entry-level sort of things. But anyway, I set up uh, all three of the computers with the... Uh, with the stuff that they'd had on them before, uh, installed a graphics card in the nicer one. Uh, you, just little things like that. Got, uh, got antivirus up and running on all three of them for, you know, got the licenses in and that sort of thing. You're sort of regular, ooh, look, I've got a brand new shiny computer, now I want it to work like my old one, except better and faster. Long story short, what I ended up in payment, they kind of gave me a choice. And what I ended up taking, rather than the cash, was a gift certificate for Amazon. Uh, in this case, a $150 gift certificate for Amazon. And what I've done with that is I went on to Amazon. This is why I took it originally. And the wheel I was saving up for, that I figured maybe November, if they have a good Black Friday sale, I'd be able to pick up. Uh, yeah, I dropped that money on that, along with, oh, I think it was all of $30 out of my own pocket. And uh, I have a wheel on the way for my PC. So I'm quite looking forward to it. Now, it does mean that at some point... I may be down for a day, possibly two at the outside, but likely only a day. What it is, is I need to rebuild my computer bench. Um, I built the one that I'm using um, out of an old stereo cabinet, actually. Completely took, took the cabinet apart and uh, used various pieces of it to put myself together reasonable sized computer desk. However, um, to do what I want to do, which is it's got to support two monitors, the wheel, uh, that sort of thing, and still leave me normal room, and allow me, of course, to do my recording, etc. I need to build a bigger shelf into it. I have a sliding keyboard tray that I built into it, but it's basically wide enough for an extra large mouse pad plus my keyboard um, and I'd like something a little more skookum if I'm going to end up bolting a wheel to it as well and we're gonna get most of this in here before we need to worry about emptying it so yeah I have a uh, have a wheel on the way I mean nothing too fancy obviously I can't afford to be you know, buying G29s or, you know, top end of this, that, or the other thing. But uh, the other thing I'd like to do is I've been giving more and more serious consideration to starting some live streaming. Now, again, this will be once I've got the desk set up. Right now I do have two monitors, but the arrangement of them makes the one very awkward. I use it for things like when I'm introducing a new game, I'll, you know, leave the Steam page up on the other one or things like that, so, yeah. But other than that, it's not really suitable for, like, watching chat or anything like that that might happen in a live stream. I, yeah, I know, pretty cocky, assuming people would actually watch. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, should hopefully be here somewhere, uh, early into October, within the first week of October. 
So how are we doing here? I must be almost full. 95%. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be pulling a big one. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm really, really, really pleased about that. It's been a long, long time. In fact, the last wheel I owned was so old when I finally tried it again, only to find out that it was, in fact, kind of broken. Um, yeah, it was no longer supported on any operating system above Windows XT. Uh, to give you another idea of how old it was, it came with both a USB and a serial port plug. <laughs> well, I mean, they called them game ports, but they were basically just a serial port. Um, so yeah, we're talking that vintage. Um, certainly not for any modern game that we might consider. Alright, I just need... Yeah, you, the dudes is, is the dudes in here? It is. Good old reliable dudes. There you are, man. Let's go find us a trailer. Yeah, yeah, we did quite well. I think the other one's actually up at the sawmill. If I remember correctly, that's not going to be enough of a cut. There we go. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to that. Um, the other thing that I'd like to ask you guys about, and I hope I get some, uh, oopsie, some opinions back on it, is I was figuring with that being the case that I'll soon have a reasonable racing wheel here. Um, I've got, thanks partly, um, in fact largely of course, to my Patreon subscribers, um, plus what I get for been saving for months and months and months from the the 10 15 bucks a month I get out of my MCN for doing YouTube videos. Um, I've got about a hundred dollars in my PayPal account, and I was thinking maybe Forza Horizon 4. No, that's uh, might be something to uh, think about. Maybe doing some live streams, doing a series, all that. Let me know what you think, guys. It's, uh, it'll be the most I've spent on a video game in many years. <laughs> yeah, it hurts the Canadian part of me deeply, but, um, it's a thought. And any other ideas you have? Now, I mean, obviously I'll be doing ATS, uh, probably ETS. I also have, I think, Project Cars... Probably a rally game or two. I do have uh, GTA 5. <laughs> I don't know that it's quite uh, the suitable thing for my channel, but I do have it. Um, so yeah, let me know ideas from you guys. And uh, speaking of the generosity of my Patreon subscribers, if you like the content of the videos and you'd like to see more, feel free to uh, subscribe by hitting the little icon down in the lower right hand side. And don't forget to ring the wee bell so you will be notified of what and when is being posted. And uh, yeah, I also have a Patreon channel. If you really like the content and you'd like to help the channel out a whole bunch, you can click the icon in the upper right hand corner and that'll take you there. So with uh, all of that said... Oh, curiosity. I like this field and I'm just curious. I mean, we don't need more sugar beets, but how much? $36,000. What? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks anywhere there, whatever your name is. Wow. $36,000. I think we'll just hold off for the moment. 
Yes, indeed, I think we will hold off. Holy smokes. Well, at least uh, the rain is also holding off, at least for the moment. Yeah, it's still pretty blue up there. I don't know how that manages to get the thing the corn out without actually tipping, but there you go. <laughs> So yeah, my, uh, my PayPal account has always been about putting money back into the channel. Up until this point, making what I do off my MCNs, it's always been about, well, every once in a while I can pick up a, an early access game or, you know, um, something that's a reasonable price. And uh, it has helped out considerably. Whoops. <laughs> Quite a few games. In fact, I think I originally got Empyrean on that uh, that mythology. So it has uh, certainly done me well. Not letting it a bit and premature. There we go. But yeah, I think Forza releases on. Uh, first or second of October or something for the standard edition and uh, I played uh, Forza 3 quite a lot that's the uh, the game that came with my Xbox when I bought it a year ago and uh, oop. there we go I really liked it now last month they gave away the problem is oh i'm sorry i meant to go a little further with that the real issue i have with forza 3 is i cannot get it to work for my pc now the forza series if you buy it for xbox or for windows 10 you get it for xbox or windows 10 as well and yeah i could never get three to play on my computer so i've always played it um, on the, the Xbox. And then last month, as one of the uh, free games for gold members, they gave away Forza Horizon 2. So I started playing that as well. And I must say, I quite like the uh, the Horizon series. So. But yeah, just a thought. done. We are going to get it, I think, before the rain comes. How are we doing here? Oh, we're much better than half the field. So yeah, we should be able to take care of this. Well, 2.30. Let's hope it doesn't start any moment now. It still looks pretty blue. Pretty blue. So has everybody got their uh, Farm Sim 19 pre-ordered up? <laughs> yeah, I've been watching all of the uh, all the stuffs that Giant's been releasing, and 
reading through all their recent and current info on it. Looks like we're uh, we're in for a bit of a treat with that one. I mean, of course, it's always too early to tell until it's sitting there on your desktop, going zoom zoom. But uh, so far, gotta say, looking pretty decent. Now the specs they've listed look pretty good. Um, should be able to run it just fine with my Mahui potato here. So that's a good thing. That, that was a concern. I thought, uh, you know, I've never found farm sim to be particularly uh, resource friendly for your computers, you know. Um, and understandably enough. I mean, look at that. Just this tiny bit of a field we've got left here with each individual stalk of corn waving back and forth and you know each one has to be destructible it has to have a certain animation and, you know, and that's just one field and this is a tiny map <laughs> So yeah, I was a little concerned that perhaps, uh, you know, they'd be looking at a little bit better graphic package or something to uh, run it. But no, it's, uh, I think my little uh, 1050 Ti should certainly not run everything on Ultra at 4K at 120 frames per minute or whatever the heck these people are bragging about, but it'll... Uh, you know, I'm running on a 2K monitor right now, um, but I do record and upload at 1080p. Okay. So, and that's likely what will continue, of course, with 19. Is I play the game at 2K, but I do record it and upload it at 1080p. I'm not, uh, not anywhere near that 4K threshold, either in video card capability or even to be able to view it on anything. Uh, oh, oh, doesn't matter, does it? Might as well grab this edge then. Yeah, we're going to come awfully close to filling it a second time. So not bad. I was expecting a little worse. After I saw the first pass we did. I wasn't sure. Now we need to think about a winter crop, eh? So that we can prep all of these fields. Alright. We've made it without having to get rained on and stop part way through, so that's beautiful. Last little bit. Nice. And yeah, really close. In fact, well, this is a pretty thin row, but I'm hoping it's not one of these things where I'm going to have, uh, you know, nine stalks of corn left at the end of the field and a fall. It is, isn't it? I'm, I'm simply going to fill up before I can get those last ones. Yes, I'm going back for this one stock of corn. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, look at that, eh? <laughs> That's all right, though, because I know that this... Uh, this harvester actually holds just a tiny bit less than our trailer will take. So we should be able to empty this and then just simply dump the rest into the trailer as well. So, yippee ki -yay, as Mr. Willis would say. Really? Hmm. 
That's kind of weird. Unless you have a very specific hitbox at once on this trailer. There we go. There we go. press the woo woo button Doo -doo -doo -doo. come on push it out push give this off a little bit it doesn't seem to matter once you start hey it'll dump almost anywhere on here we currently have a great demand. Oh, I think it's for wool. <laughs> if I remember rightly. Which I don't have uh, a whole bunch of. Oh. I see. So it actually doesn't all fit. In fact, the trailer's too small by 500. Oh. Well, that's an entirely different animal, isn't it? Entirely different animal. But no big deal. For this little bit here. A thousand liters or whatever it's going to be. We'll just drive it up the hill. There we go. It's not much, but you know what they say, waste not, want not. All right, well, we got the corn in. I do like this old harvester, it works well. Works very well. Doesn't look like we're gonna get to our cows today. Okay, I'm going to put the pipe. That should do. That should do. successful corn harvest. Excellent. <laughs> so that one's 36. And this one's 44. At least he's offering a little more to cut the stuff down. Oh well, I guess you'll be harvesting it yourself, fella. Alright, so just over two full trailers. So that's 9,000. So we got almost 10,000 liters. Almost 10,000 liters. I don't know why I didn't go through that way. Cut through the trees. <laughs> go I 
And I think with that, we're going to pretty much call her a day here, guys. Again, really glad that I managed to uh, get that in before the rain started. Grab that last 900 or so. Let's go check our chickens. I believe we have 11 of them now. Ah, here we go. But we have 12 chickens now. Wow. All right. So we've added 50% uh, more chickens. We're still not up to our original numbers, unfortunately. We're a ways from that, actually, to be honest. But, hey, it is coming back there. So, hope everybody enjoyed the episode. If you did, well, you know what to do. Hit that like button. And uh, leave a comment either way. And, uh, of course, let me know your opinion on uh, some of the stuff we'll be moving on with. But until next time, this has been Species 7 for Watts Farm and Farm Sim 17. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.